Hello learners let's light each other today so what's light light is a form of energy that enables us to see objects which emit or reflect light it's a form of energy that can produce a sensation in our eyes because of which we experience the sensation of vision as we can see in the video it travels in a straight line in form of particles and waves with the help of light we can see all colors of nature our eyes are most sensitive to yellow color and least sensitive to violet and red color due to this reason commercial vehicles are painted with yellow color as projected in the video let's look at some important properties of light light travels in a straight line with a speed that is faster than sound light travels at a speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second now just compare the speed of sound through air is about 340 meters per second and that of light through a vacuum is 300 million meters per second now let's talk about reflection of light reflection is the phenomena in which light traveling in one medium incident on the surface of another bounces back to the first medium obeying the laws of reflection according to these laws the incident ray reflected ray and the normal to the surface at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane and the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection let's move on to the topic refraction of light refraction is a phenomena in which there is a change in speed of light as it travels from one medium to another because of which bending of ray takes place the refracted ray obeys some laws which are the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal to the surface at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane for the given pair of media and for the light of the given wavelength the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is always a constant dispersion of light the splitting of ray of white light into its constituent colors is known as dispersion let's move to diffraction of light in simple terms it's the phenomena of spreading of waves around obstacles polarization of light normal light vibrates in all directions perpendicular to the propagation of light if the light is constrained to vibrate in only one particular plane then the light is called polarized and the phenomena is called polarization as shown in the video with this we come to an end of our video let's recap what all we learned we started with what is light and moved to its properties we learned about reflection refraction dispersion diffraction and finally polarization i hope you guys understood it now you can go and attempt the respective test on edurev to cross check your understanding